Welcome back. This is the Hydrotech Silver Bullet Part 2. Where I left off was explaining the two year warranty that comes with the Silver Bullet from Hydrotech. This is the Silver Bullet. Uh, the caps have been removed so that you can see the inner tubes. That you can see that what you're getting is not a stacked washer design which is very inefficient uh, and I'll explain why real quick when you put a stacked washer design inside of a tube what you effectively have is a parallel cell which puts 12 volts through the electrode into the anode that's very inefficient at 13 and a half volts you're wasting 12 volts and the waste is in the form of heat from the excess amp draw that's a very inefficient process so what we did is broke the voltage down to 3 volts per surface now as I was mentioning this is the older style cell that has not been electro polished or passivated uh, the new one that I sell from now on will be the cost on that will be uh, $300 and also I want to mention that uh, in order to maintain the gains and to maximize the gains that you'll see from this hydrogen you uh, will probably need to add a engine control unit uh, we have engine control units that have been tested by Green Gas LLC uh, they call it the aero box and the aero box will hook to any vehicle the aero box will not fail um, and it's the only one that I've found that, that actually does work uh, the way it's uh, supposed to now they they sell my silver bullet with their aero box and I sell their aero box with my silver bullet because I believe in their dependability as much as I do the dependability of my silver bullet. Uh, my silver bullet has been tested for six months and uh, through all the testing uh, and upgrades it's performed well and it's it's a very good design that comes with a two-year warranty um, if, if anything happens you send it back to us uh, and we send you another one. Um, now that warranty won't cover you if you put anything other than sodium hydroxide in there as an electrolyte. So, continuing, when I apply power, you'll note the amp draw. Right now our amp draw is 5 amps, and you can see the production begin out of the cell. Now that production stays constant, and the amp draw stays constant because the heat doesn't change that much. Uh, the higher the heat, the higher the amp draw because the conduction of the water goes up or the resistance drops. So we control the heat, we control the waste amps that way, and we make this an efficient cell that will continue to produce the same amount and the same quality of gas all the time. Uh, when you find the right mix for your car, which may be between a half and one liter per minute of gas uh, you want to maintain that and the way you do that is to start off at five amps and slowly work your way up while you do mileage tests and note when your mileage starts to drop off at that point you have reached what I call the threshold effect and um, when you put more gas in it'll slow the piston down and give you worse mileage so you note the, the amp draw when you reach that threshold effect and you maintain that amp draw which maintains your mileage uh, increase um, one thing about other cells that this cell does differently is that it always produces a good quality of gas now I always have the same gas because I'm not making water vapor. Water vapor is made over 110 degrees normally. Um, most cells that run 
in the 120 to 150 range will create good gas until they get over 110 degrees and then the quality of the gas goes down because of the water vapor. Uh, when you're making water vapor you're no longer making the same amount of hydrogen so in order to keep your results the same all the time you need to maintain the quality of the gas and that's what this cell does. Now I've already mentioned that this is a full bath cell some people call it a dry cell because it's not submerged I got rid of the container and used the best parts of the cell which is the tubes as the container. Uh, the full bath solution helps for cooling because we have a recirculation loop which if you wanted to you could put a uh, cooler on the return line and keep the, the cell even cooler. Uh, that isn't really necessary but if you're drawing higher amps because you have a bigger engine uh, that might be necessary. Now you'll also note that this can be lit without me worrying about an explosion. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm well versed in hydrogen explosions. Um, my ears don't like it so much anymore, and my wife tells me that uh, I shouldn't do it because it scares the dogs. So anyway, what I've come up with is a way to light gas all the time without worrying about having an explosion in your bubbler. If I were to light this line right here at any time when there's gas in that line, that explosion is going to go right in my bubbler and blow my bubbler apart. And then I'll have to replace the bubbler. Now it can't get through these bubbles and water into the cell, so the cell is always safe as long as there's water in the tube. Same thing with this backflash arrestor. This backflash arrestor will never fail as long as it has water inside it. And you'll note that there's slight bubbles coming through the water. I'm only putting out about three-eighths of a liter per minute right now. Uh, this is a smaller 10-inch cell that I have on the display panel. It's not the 12-inch cell. So this doesn't produce quite as much hydrogen, but for display purposes, it's fine. Okay. Anyway, so we need a lighter that works, and I don't actually have to. So, moving on. I always send a backflash arrestor with every cell that I sell. The reason for that is most people want to see what it is that they're putting out. And I like for them to test their gas. I like to test the quality of my own gas to make sure that I haven't got any low quality gas coming out of the cell. Now that we have limited the amount of heat that's generated in the cell, we don't worry so much about it, but it's still a lot of fun to light. And you can do it safely. So that's why we send the backflash arrestor with the cell. This is an option that you can add after your bubbler, between your bubbler and your intake. By putting another fitting at the top and sealing that up with a clamp like we've done on the bottom, you run your output from here to your intake. And you would always mount that injection point just before the throttle body. Uh, as close to the throttle body as possible to keep the hydrogen from being pulled out away from, uh, from the incoming air and going into the engine. <laughs> so, anytime you feel like lighting your hydrogen, you have a way of doing that safely. Now, I don't, I don't recommend any other type of, of uh, backflash arrestor. This is the only type that I'll sell and it's the only type that I've found to always be safe 100% of the time. So uh, that should do it for now. Uh, as new updates happen, I'll, I'll continue to keep you posted. Um, enjoy the website. The website's hydrotech.net, H-Y-D-R-A-T-E-K.net. Um, we're always willing to uh, assist those people who are into design and would like to know the truth about hydrogen and the effects and the uses. So visit the website and have fun.